One more guy on the Avs you should watch for is defenseman Kale McCarr. He is probably one of the best young offensive defensemen in the NHL. Guy moves like a rover on the blue line, can shoot from the point, score easily, can make great passes, and can make other great plays himself as well. Load, loads of talent. Keep your eye on Makar, number nice. eight on the Avalanche. And we will go and we will go past this the next the next day, which would be Thursday. That's Thanksgiving. I hope all of you, by the way, have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Tell me what you did for Thanksgiving in the comments section below. We go to Black Friday, October, November the 26th, and it will be the Ottawa Senators coming to town. It's our first matchup with them in this decade. The <laughs> Senators are having a tough year. They're 4-10-1. Oh, no. But they do have some pretty young uh, players on that team who have been pretty impactful. They were, I watched some highlights of them during last year's uh, shortened season. Zach Sanford, who they got in a trade from the St. Louis Blues for a prospect. He has two goals in his last five, but he's a very big forward. Thomas Shabbat is another gifted offensive defenseman who has three assists and points in his last five games. And let's also keep an eye out for Josh Norris. Not bound to win the Norris trophy, but pretty gifted as he is second in the team lead with a second on the team in points for Ottawa. Sanford, Norris, and Shabbat. Let's keep our eyes on those four guys. And I expect this is gonna be. Yeah, they have a new goaltending tandem in Ottawa. We we will. Oh my goodness! And all and the guys current for slated to start possibly would either be Matt Murray or Anton Forsberg. Matt Murray is winless this year, and Anton Forsberg is one and three. I have no idea who's gonna start that game. I guess we'll have to wait until Friday to figure that out. Let's give you some predictions now for the Predators game. If the Ducks can rebound nicely. After that tough loss versus Carolina, I think they'll have a chance to win. And I think the Ducks can get a victory in Nashville. And it's good, but it's gonna be tight because Matthew Shane's obviously on fire. I have the Ducks winning this game four to three. Are you sure about that? The game versus Colorado, their offense is way too powerful, and I have a blowout on tap for that game five to two. Yikes! But for the game on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, I have the Ducks winning that game, and I think the Ducks are going to kick the doors off versus the Senators. Um, I'm just trying to, I'm just playing records here. The Ducks will win that game by a score of 4-1. That's my predictions, my friends, and that will wrap it up for this episode of QuackCast. I really hope you liked it. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you want more of this content and if you think the Ducks can win some more games. Remember to stay tuned for Roast Off Barbecue as well as I have still working on that episode. And I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. I have another Angels video. I have an Angels video coming out to you talking about Noah Syndergaard signing. Stay tuned for that. But last but and last but not least, remember as always to have a great day. Let's go Ducks and let's rebound on the road in the Music City.